Now, someone else who's had uh, lots of lovely things to say about their other half is Harry Redknapp. He's been gushing about uh, his wife, Sandra, who he's been with for 54 years. Um, now, it's left her feeling rather embarrassed. He has said um, he calls his wife ten times a day, he compares their marriage to winning the lottery, he said, she's my life, I love her too much. Don't think there's such a thing as too much. Um, like I say, he's, she's got a bit embarrassed and said he doesn't say anything like that when they're together. No, but it's when they're not together. So that's what happens when I'm away from Mark. Like, when you're there, you're just there, aren't you? But when you go away and you really miss him and that, yeah. that's when you say really nice things about him. And I think he realises how much she actually does for him and that's that. Nice. I don't, he doesn't even know how to make a cup of tea, apparently, does he? Like, she no. just does everything for I don't him. think she means it either. You know, like, Joel will say really nice things to me and I'll go, oh, stop it. Stop being ridiculous, but in my head I'm thinking, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on coming. <laughs> I think that's what she's doing there in that interview. She's like, oh, I'm so embarrassed, but stop down. it. I love it. As my mum <laughs> oh, says, I think it's lovely. Going. I think it's really lovely. It is lovely. Well, yeah. especially after such a long time together, you know, 54 years, because you know when you get familiar with each other, you do tend to, or is it just me? Uh, <laughs> you know, kind of get into the humdrum of life, and you forget to say all of these things. You know. Yeah. I mean, you're probably still in the first flush, Andrea. Yeah, I mean, we're still really nice to each other. But um, <laughs> I think it, it's interesting, because obviously both of us having been married before, um, I think anybody who is in, in another relationship, whether you're getting married or, or, or not, I think you, you want to make a conscious effort to not make the same mistakes or have the same experiences that you maybe had before. And one of the things that we feel really strongly about is kindness. And, you know, I post on social media all the time about the importance of kindness, and we try to just be kind to each other and it is just about little tiny little things so it might not necessarily be huge compliments as, as we say but we have this little ritual that we do every night in bed not that <laughs> not, not too that. much information no it's nothing to do with that it's literally as the light goes out and, in, and you're sort of lying there we ask three questions and it's uh what have you done today that you're proud of what are you grateful for? And what are you looking forward to tomorrow? And actually, it's a really nice way to sort of reset. And he'll ask me and I'll ask him. And sometimes I'll say, oh, God, I can't think of anything I'm proud of today. But I'm really proud of you. I thought you were great when you did X, Y, Z. And it's just a nice way to kind of wrap up the day and on not a negative note, even if you've not had a brilliant that day. That is so lovely. Yeah. I think I would nice, lose yeah. it with Joe. Would yeah. you? <laughs> Tell me three things you're... I'll be like, don't shoot, dare. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> this is about when I go to bed with Joe, the last thing I'll say is this. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to be really quick. And it's really funny, he's like, babe, babe, we're on a countdown. Because literally, once he lies down, it's the eyes start going, the eyes start going. Yeah. And yeah, if I don't get in quick, he's sparko. Well, absolutely. My sparko. husband has the fan going and the door open, it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> so the last thing I say is, shut the door and take the fan off. <laughs> <laughs> do you not get hot flashes and things? Not, I, I not, have a fan not on. Since I've, not since I've been on my HRT, I don't really? get hot flashes anymore. I might have to come off it to get hot flashes, it's hopefully been cold <laughs> out. <laughs> Very romantic, isn't he? Uh, well, no, actually, he's much more romantic than me, but that's quite a low bar. You know? <laughs> I think the last thing I see to him is turn the telly off because he watches tennis. Uh, wow. the hours in the night as they switch the telly off. Oh, but... you crazy kid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> New balls, please. That's what I say to him.